All right, the guys, what is up? I'm Asgard's Champ. Welcome to episode two of my playthrough for Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. So we're going to get straight back into it. Uh, just while this is loading up as well, guys, uh, down in the description below, there's some links to my social media, Instagram and Twitter. If you want to give me a follow over there, that would be greatly appreciated. And let's get into this, see where we left off. All right, nice. So I think where we left, yeah, we just broke through this gate and we were heading to the next one. And I think we're in Muspelsheim, and we're going to fight and uh, Sert, and we're going to go try and kill him. Everything looks a bit funky right now, though. Uh, let's see. Okay, got a house. A broken house. I thought this place was all supposed to be on fire in Muspelsheim, although it does look like we've still got some fire going on. One thing I really like about this game is just how like mysterious it is. It doesn't really it doesn't hold your hand at all. Oh, there's a gate over there. And I believe this should work in the same way as those other ones where you got to find the runes. And I can hear fire again. Worship the devourers and satiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren. Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuahadadanan. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Interesting. So I assume he was like a Celt or something. Living in Orkney when he was captured by Vikings or something like that. Anyway, we need to find these... Uh, these runes. This looks like one of them. There we go. Is that it? Surely that's it. No, not quite. There we go, that must be it. Nice. So that's one, and the other one looks like the letter R. I haven't seen anything that could resemble that yet. I guess it gives you the hints like this, all these runes that are showing up now. Um, let's have a look. Am I going crazy or is it not there? Yeah, I can't see it. Let's keep looking. It's probably just a matter of getting the right angle and then I will see it and it'll be obvious and I'll kick myself. Okay, so definitely over here because it pops up on my screen. I've got one of those law stones here, actually. Let's check this out. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious. And then burn the whole world with fire. It's awesome all the lore that we get in this. Um, I did look up the story that I was referencing last time as well about the sword of uh, of Surt. It's, it wasn't actually Surt's sword that was uh, important. It's the sword of Frey, which is supposed to be able to beat any other weapon. But he gives it up in order to get married to a beautiful giant. I think is what how the story goes. So he ends up losing the sword, and then he can't, uh, he can't beat Sert in battle when the, the time comes. Anyway, I'm getting really lost with this uh, this rune. I can't seem to get the right angle. It's definitely something to do with this. I'm sure of it, but I just need to find the correct angle to look at it from. 
Maybe I need to get up at the top there. From the inside of the house, maybe. Um, yeah, it looks like I can kind of get up this way. Can I jump here? Nope. Alright, I'm going to have to go through the house, I think. Oh yeah, look, I can climb up here. Cool. There we go, this must be it. Okay. I <laughs> still can't see it. <laughs> Unless is it somewhere different? Man, I'm going crazy here. I can't see it. Not apparently here. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't even see that. That was not obvious at all. Anyway, good to know, I guess. It's not always obvious. Can we jump down here? Yes, we can. Yeah, that wasn't obvious. Never mind. Right, we can get through this gate now then. I think we have to focus on it, I believe. Give it a good push. Nice. Okay, we've got crispy bodies again. Ooh, what was this? Shit, yeah, this is where everything sets on fire. But why do I need to go after that? That's the thing. Mm hmm. I'm sure the last time we did this, we knew where we had to go. Let's press it anyway. I'll focus on it. We'll see. Hopefully we don't die in the process. That noise is horrible. Okay, I think it's the gate straight ahead of me. However, we're not going to be able to get through here. Shit, we're going to have to go through the house. And I'm guessing the house is burning. <laughs> Shit. Okay, this is definitely a bit more precarious than I thought it would be. Can we get out this way? Obviously not. Can we? No. Okay, then. Ah, oh, the voices, man, they're so creepy. Oh, God, we made it. Alright, nice. I didn't even know this gate was here. Why can't I go through it? Oh shit. I don't want to fight anyone yet. <laughs> shit, that was timed well. Man, it's well difficult. Am I dead? Nope. Not yet. Man, these guys. So hard. Am I dead? Oh shit. Yeah, that's one way to die. Yeah, so I was reading about this. Apparently, every time you die, then that darkness creeps up your arm. And if you let it get to your head, I think you have to start again or something. Which is a bit nuts. Anyway, we're going to have to do this bit again. I'll skip out kind of what you've already seen and I'll get us back to the bit where we just were. Guys are so hard, man. I mean, I'm getting better, I think. Kind of. He's 
There's another one. I think he's the last one. I hope he is. Yeah, that was the last one. Nice. Can I get through there now? Yes, I can. Nice. And hopefully the fire should go away. Good. Let it collapse. And have the courage to shed your tears. Raise your world. My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world of you. No. I see nothing now. Interesting. Well, I hope in this episode we can find Cert fight him and kill him, but we'll see. I'm not actually sure how long it takes to get to that bit. I think basically where we are now is about where I got to the first time I played this game. Uh, and again, that was some years ago, so I don't really remember what's uh, going on, but I don't remember any of this. I don't recall any of this bit. But it's cool, either way. Okay, that big burning pyre up there looks like the kind of place I probably need to go. Um, Alright, we've got runes here again. Can we check it from here? No. So we need to jump down. There's three runes this time. Okay. Tell me true. How did you escape your darkness? Once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear. I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of certain. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. A fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. See, so yeah, I'm gonna try not to talk when she's talking to herself, but um Yeah, apparently that rune is up here somewhere. I don't see it though. Again, if it's as unobvious as that last one was, then God knows where it is. Um Yeah, I'm struggling to see it from up here. I wonder if it's, I wonder if being up here is not actually where you know where I should be to see this one. Anyway, let's go down. Unless it's over in the distance somewhere. I mean, the way I found the last one, last time when I was struggling was, it kind of lights up when you look in the right direction, and everything goes white. However, that doesn't seem to be happening, no matter where I look this time. Okay, never mind, let's go back down, and there are two others. I knew these were probably going to get harder and more difficult, these puzzles, but there you go. It's a shame we can't climb this ladder faster. Or descend it in this case. So there's two of the runes. Let's see if we can find those ones. It's quite a big area, this one as well. There's quite a few places to go. Let's check inside this building here. Yep, so they've got another one here as well. Oh, I see this one. There we go. See, that was relatively straightforward. And we'll go stand underneath that little platform and see if we can find the other one as well. Uh, another one here. Is it out here? No, but there is a lost one, so let's check this. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. 
There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. Awesome. So yeah, the wolf that they refer to there is uh, Fenrir, or Fenris, as it's known sometimes as well. It's actually the son of Loki in the mythology. Um, but yeah, he's going to swallow the sun, and he also is the death of Odin. He kills Odin at Ragnarok. Or rather, they kill each other, should I say. No, actually, that's not true. I'm wrong about that. Odin gets killed by Fenrir, and it's one of the other gods. I can't remember which one. Then finishes off Fenrir the wolf. Anyway, um, let's try to find this rune. Getting a little bit lost with these runes. They're pretty tough. I um, wonder if it's supposed to be inside here. Actually, yeah, must be one of these beams or something, right? Maybe if I stand from this side and look this way. Oh, there it is. I see it. Am I going to have to go the other way? Yeah, I'm going to have to see that from outside. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. We've got it. We've got it. Nice. It's just this last one now. Um, I'm guessing we can open this door. Yep. Maybe we had to do that to be able to see this last one. Let's see if we can stand underneath here and do it. Hmm. It's probably me being stupid. I'm guessing you guys have probably already seen it. And I'm being daft here. I thought maybe I do have to be back up on that platform. Maybe opening this door has changed something from up there. Maybe. Alright, well, that door being open definitely didn't help. <laughs> uh, I really can't see it. Am I, am I being crazy here? Or is this not obvious? I can't tell. I feel like this platform here is exactly where I should be for this. But I honestly cannot see where it is alright guys so I've just spent far too long doing this but I finally figured it out <laughs> it's right here right in my face again I'm probably sure some of you guys saw that but there you go that's me being silly and not seeing what's right in front of me I think I just spent like 10 minutes running around trying to figure it out anyway it's done well, let's head back down to that gate and uh, get it open and yeah, then we'll probably have to navigate through these buildings while they're on fire again. And maybe fight some enemies, we'll see. First things first, let's go and open up that gate. I think when the runes disappear, yeah there you go, that's when you know that it's unlocked and you can go open it. All these crispy bodies are a bit creepy. There we go. Let's try not to turn into one of them. Shit. 
Surely this is all in her head. She's not actually burning. Or did I just do that wrong? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Shadow. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. I'm guessing that's her husband who were in hell trying to save. Shit. Well, he looks like a bit of a beast. Destroyed everything, everyone, but not me. Fight now! I don't want to fight this guy. <laughs> Jesus. Oh shit. Am I dead? I couldn't do anything about that one hit. Damn. Alright, so I think that kick, I'm gonna have to dodge out of the way of it. The block didn't work. Oh, again. Oh. Okay, I actually survived that one. Nice. I think I still got hit by it though. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but whatever it is, I'll take it. <laughs> I know something's like flashing on a belt, but I don't know what, like, what it is. Oh shit. Alright, so I'm guessing he's charging something up there, and I definitely don't want to see what the end result of that is. Nice. I think that's what I did earlier, it slows down if I focus on him after Maybe that's what the thing on a belt lighting up is. What? Yeah, okay, there you go. So when it lights up I can focus. So I think the voice has just said it's an illusion then. Does that mean... So I can't hurt him while he's on fire, but if I focus, then I can. Oh, man. So I think that's why I have to hit him here, to stop him from gaining that power. There we go. Nice. 
Nice. Oh shit, did I do it? Yes. Alright, nice one. Well, that's how you kill a god. Or a giant. Have we killed him? Okay, is that the gate to Helheim? For every battle won, a greater battle takes its place. And so it goes. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? Why does he sound like he's dying now? I thought we just saved him. And I will go to hell to keep I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours then I will soon fail be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers your quest I'm sure that's the only time you can say to someone, I'll see you in hell, and it actually not be an insult. Anyway, let's see if there's anything, can I do anything around here? No. Nope. Guess we probably have to head back to the gate now, and there's the second area that we need to go to. Truth was a troubled man. A scholar turned slave. They tortured him. Took him with them on their raids. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. That was the wrong way. To my world. I think we came up this ladder over here, right? Yes, I think we did. I'm really hoping that I do have to go back. Otherwise I'm going to spend ages doing it and it's not going to be right. I do also wonder if we're going to find a different character, maybe. So they, there was Druth who was helping us there. We defeated Sirt and he's now seemingly gone to hell. I wonder if we're going to find a different character in this next area. That would be cool. But my goal for this episode as well was to defeat Sirt. But we've done that and I think there's still time left for this one. So we'll head over to that new area, do a little bit there. And that's where we'll call it, I think. But let's just get there first. Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. Nothing is the same ever again. Senor has died before. And she will do so again. You can be sure of that. Alright, we made it back. So the gate looks like it's lit up. Um, and there's a strange texture everywhere. Oh, shit, that caught me off guard nearly. Damn, these guys look like they've got fucking helmets on. This is not getting well. Okay, the thing on her belt is lit up again. Yes, nice, okay. So I think that we've unlocked that as a, like an ability, I guess.
Alright, I think these guys are not as hard as those are the ones with the helmets on. Yep, yeah, okay. She becomes like an absolute fucking beast when she's using that ability. Oh shit, this guy's got a shield. What the hell am I meant to do against this? Damn. Quick attacks. Yeah, quick attacks after a dodge, I guess. Carry that. I guess we can do this as well. Yeah, there we go. That works. Damn, these guys are tough. The gate won't open. She can't get through. Why not? <sighs> okay. She's only a dying one test. Just one. She's only one test. What the other test? Is there another one? There is another one. Val Raven. I don't know this god. I don't think I've read about them if they exist in the mythology, which I assume they do. And master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Well, this is not going to be fun. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened. Cool. So expect, I guess, to see lots of stuff that isn't there. All the tricks and whatnot. Let's see. I wonder if there's any of those faces in a waterfall again. It looked like an area like this last time. Nope. Never mind. There is a law stone up here though, so let's check that. Or a rune stone, should I say. Emir was a frost giant. A being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. Awesome. Yep, dropping more of the mythology there. So Odin also had two brothers. And uh, the three of them, they decided to kill Ymir. And it's said in the mythology that killing Ymir was what um, sprang the rest of life. So like, I think the dwarves came from his his flesh or something like that and they made the world out of his bones his skull is the sky and that kind of thing it's all very interesting right then that symbol over there is the one that was on the gate I think yep let's check this out so I'm guessing this is a new door puzzle illusion hides the path to Valraven don't trust your eyes find another way to see the truth Cool. So Druth is still with us. That's awesome. Um, I'm not too sure what this means, to be fair. Find another way to see the truth. Um, there's this big ring thing over there. I wonder if I'll look through that, maybe. And looks like there's a bridge over that way. Let's go try and knock that down. It's cool, though, that they have uh, put in like a different puzzle for this. I quite like that. The runes were good, but there's only so far you could get without that getting boring, I think. She did it. Yeah, let's have a look through this. There we go. So, I wonder... Does that mean it's just open or do I have to walk through this? Yeah, there we go. Cool. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close.
close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. So yeah, lots of little illusion puzzles I'm expecting from this little area. I don't know what to expect when we actually get into hell as well. I don't like how dark and misty it is as well. Right, that's a door. Don't think there's anywhere else to go. So instead of crispy bodies, we've got horrible, rotting ones instead. Nice. Right, guess we go through this door here. Enemies. Okay, cool. this time. Oh man, I keep getting hit by these guys. I didn't actually mean to focus then, but I did I did tap the trigger by accident. But it's fine. So hard to see because they're not um they're not like in your periphery. Shit. I think that's me dead. I know. You keep mashing buttons, you can't actually get up. Let's use this ability again quick. I wonder if we'll actually unlock any more of these kinds of abilities. So many more guys than there was before. Nice. Cool. Fucking hell. Alright. That's the way we came from, isn't it? Yeah, it is. She will find what she's looking for. Let's have a peek through this door then. More illusions, I guess. Interesting. Val Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much has changed. <laughs> the voices in her head are so cool. Um, cool. I see one raven. Maybe I have to head out this way. Might be more. Yeah, there's one there as well. In fact, all three of them are right here. So, how do I get an angle? Do I have to get up there? Uh, is that the Valraven guy? That's creepy. He just stood there. The seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. I can't climb up here. No, okay. I must have to go from this side and look up. Because I don't think I can get up there. Um, How do you align them, though? 
This is tricky. Okay. I feel like I do need to go up there and do and do this. I think I have to be up there to align them. Because the smallest one's there, and I'm sure I have to be closest to the smallest one in order for this to work. But the question is, how do I get up there? There is a little bridge over that side, so let's have a look around there and see if we can get around. Guessing that's through this door here. But yeah. I don't think we can get up there, can we? Hmm, okay. There's something I'm missing here. Let's go back around this way. I might have to focus on that door again, maybe. Let's see. Oh no, they're still out. Okay, so. We need to find a way up to the top there. It looks like there's a path there, but how do we get there? That is the question. Go this way, maybe. See, she can't climb. She can't climb up stuff. Um, what's this got to do with anything, actually? That's a good point. Ooh, unless I have to look through this. There we go. Okay. Alright, so. It doesn't necessarily have to be a circle, but I think these skull things here show the path. Okay, that's good to know for future reference. And she can climb up things, just not things we're not allowed to climb up, if that makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is going to let us do it now. Awesome. There we go. Is that it? There we go. Spot on. Perfect. Alright, then let's see what's through here. So it looks like we've got another one of these puzzles straight ahead of us. It's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world. Where the forest itself is watching. So we've definitely got more ravens up there. So I need to find Another one of those doors. Oh, there we go. You know what to do. Stay back. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen, don't. Those voices are so creepy. Alright then guys, so yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there. If you made it this far guys, thank you very much for watching. You are appreciated as always. It really helps out uh, when you guys watch these videos sort of all the way through. The watch time is really crucial. Um, make sure if you like the episode, you hit that like button as well. Also helps out. Um, if you guys have any little tidbits of Norse mythology that you want to share with me, um, I'm always up for learning new stuff. Um, leave those down in the comments below. I will be uh, greatly appreciative of any new knowledge in that regard and uh, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so with all that said guys i will see you on the next one